Lily had stepped through the portal to the place she had regularly stayed at, at least, since the fire. Except, for this time, now she was alone. She had secretly hoped that she would reappear where her brother was. Shield she whispered I will find you point, but how can I do that? I don't have anyone anymore. Lily went inside checked in and went to bed thinking of ways to get more information. When a newspaper flew in with news of the Phantom Hive toy company. I'll start here, she thought. The next day she went into London asking every toy store if they knew where to find the Earl of Phantom Hive. One shopkeeper did have something about a man named Sebastian and to try and find him to get a shield. The next day she was in her room. Her stomach was still in red hot pain from the bullet. However she would have been much worse if it wasn't for Melody coming to the rescue in her titan form. She also hoped that Melody would have somehow come through to her world. She also wished that the boyfriend she had in the other world would come through. She would have at least had someone by her side since she managed to break her contract with Sasha. But now she was all alone, which seemed to be the way she was going to be for the rest of her life. Lily slowly sat down in her chair trying not to flare anything up. How am I supposed to find Sheil now? She yelled out. She took off the wrappings around her hand where she had made the blood pack with Melody. What? She exclaimed staring at her hand which was now glowing. A mark which she had not recalled carving into her skin. When did this happen? To me? Meanwhile, Melody was experiencing the same thing. What the heck? She called out from the room she was assigned. Suddenly they both passed out 